It's a good crop. Carlos Correa back on the market. Trey Turner was with the Dodgers. Xander Bogarts and Dansby Swanson. They will cost whatever team that signs up a lot of money. And Jack, I just don't see a fit here with the Yankees. Do you? I mean, that's why they kept Peraza and Volpe around, right? Well, they went with a stopgap shortstop last year in IKF because of what you just said, because they knew that their best prospects from a position player standpoint were shortstops. So I don't see the Yankees suddenly trashing that philosophy when they're one year closer to executing that philosophy. I will say this. I will go back to something I said earlier in the show. The Yankees know that Judge is their number one priority, but they also would like to get that done with some urgency. Were that not to happen, you would want to be able to be on the board for the next tier of players. It just so happens, John, that that next tier of players all play a position where the Yankees feel like their their young guys are on the come. Yeah, any one of those four players obviously would be great on any team, but that to me is a plan B if Aaron Judge doesn't re-sign with the Yankees and you have to go out and get a star player, and those four guys obviously fit the bill there. Uh, Trey Turner would probably be the number one guy for me. Correa, his power numbers were down a little bit last year, but obviously four very talented players that I don't think the Yankees have a need for as we sit here at this desk tonight.